Hey everybody, Brandon Mason here with Eastman's and it seems like every year about this time we're coming up with another gear review just like this one on new Sig Sauer products and this year's no different. Sig has a whole new line of rangefinders coming out this year 2021 and this is the first of several models that we're going to review for you so that you can see what they're up to and how they're on the cutting edge. And while I got you here, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so and turn on your notifications so we can send you more helpful, useful gear reviews just like this when we come out with them almost every week. Okay, so what Sig Sauer has done over the last few years is they have changed the game when it comes to range finding technology. And what I mean by that is they have enabled range finders to work quicker with the engines that are inside of each and every one of their range finders. Um, and they have also come up with Bluetooth connectivity between rifle scope, range finder, and our wonderful, wonderful smart devices that it seems like we use for everything anymore. And what we're going to talk about today is this particular first one of the new Sig Sauer rangefinders in their Kilo K series for 2021. And basically what the K means is how many thousands of yards out there that it can range flat surfaces under ideal conditions. This one is the 5K, they have the Kilo 6K, 8K, and 10K also coming out, but they're so new we don't even have them in hand yet. So the first one we have is the 5K, and we're gonna take a look at that today. But overall, we're gonna talk about the technology that's in all of these range finding devices no matter which one of these products that they have. So they're even gonna be updating their popular Kilo 3000 BDX range finding binoculars with this K series also. So what makes the K series so different? First of all, they have extended range capabilities. Most of the, the SIG BDX range finders and the whole system was good to about 800 yards, and which for many of us, that's, that's way farther than I even plan to shoot. But it's fun to mess around with at the range. It's a great confidence builder. And for those that do push the envelope when it comes to distance, you know, that 800 could kind of get you there. Well, now there's onboard applied ballistics calculations for that distance even beyond what the BDX uh, Bluetooth enabled features have in those devices. And if you're not familiar with BDX, make sure you check out our other reviews that we have on the BDX system. They came out with a BDX system a few years ago, and then last year the BDX 2.0 system, which has a whole slew of features in each and every one of their range finders and scopes with simple technological updates that you could do on your own from the comfort of your home, or even when you're out in the field if you have cell phone service. Now, you get to use these products even when you're out of cell phone service, but when you're doing the updates, you just have to have the cell phone service to facilitate the updates. So. The Kilo K series, again, this is the 5K. This can range flat targets, reflective targets, out to 5,000 yards. It can range trees and light type cover that can reflect the range back to the range finder out to 2,500 yards and deer or big game size animals out to 2,000 yards in ideal circumstances. So you're probably wondering, well, that's great, but why in the world would I need to know if something is that far away? There's no way I'm gonna shoot out to 5,000 yards. Well, I agree with you, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't even encourage anybody to do that. But here's the power in being able to range out to those extended distances, especially out west when the country is just huge. So when you can actually use this, a, a good range finder and range distances when you're planning a stalk on an animal and see if it's logical with the amount of daylight you have left. Well, knowing the distance and knowing when to be realistic with yourself is key because, man, I've been, I've been there in the high country where you'll see a deer or an elk from miles away and you think, man, let's go stalk on them or let's relocate camp and get to them. And pretty soon you're five miles deeper into the back country than you even intended to be. And that can get you in some very dangerous predicaments. And it's just not safe, it's just not smart to hunt that way. So in addition to that, Sig Sauer teamed up with a mapping app company called Basemap. And if you have the app on your smart device, and it, your smart device 
and the rangefinder can Bluetooth connect. Basically, it just means they're like remote controls for one another and they can talk to each other. You can range a target if it's connected to the base map app and it'll drop a point to what you are ranging on your map. And that's not only handy for planning a stock, but what we found last year, they didn't even have this technology, but we got ourselves thinking, we always are using mapping apps on our phone and we're using uh, range finding technology in the field. Well, Scott Reeker shot a really nice mule deer up in the high country and he shot him from, I think it was about 320 yards away. He shot him, the buck tumbled down, straight down this mountain that was like this, and he stopped in some cover, which sounds logical. We thought, we'll just hike down, hike back up, it's getting close to dark, and we should walk right up to him. Well, this country is so enormous, even from 330, 320 yards away that we were, by the time we descended the vista that we were on, went across the valley, went up to the other side, it looked completely different. And if we would have had a system like this, we could have ranged exactly where we saw the buck stop in the clump of trees. We couldn't see him anymore, but he didn't come out uh, from below the clump of trees and he definitely crashed into them. And we were pretty sure he was dead right in that clump of trees. And But when we got over there, everything looked the same. And it took us a while to find him. Plus we were uh, dealing with a problem black bear in the area and we were feeling a little anxious before it got dark because we had so much to get done um, in a short time. Well, if we had a way to range it, drop an exact location, hike to that location and find that buck, it would have saved us a lot of time and a lot of, you know, I guess a little bit of stress really when you think about it, trying to figure out all the things we had to get done before dark or shortly after dark and to make sure we get that animal packed up and out of there. So in order to make the range finders, the K-series range finders from Six Hour, and the base map app talk to each other, you simply fire up the base map app, and when you have that up and running, and you wanna make sure that you pair the device, pair the, your rangefinder with the app, you tap on the lower right hand corner, there's a plus symbol in the app where it says tools, we type on that, and then a sub menu slides in from the right. And the first thing you'll see is base map connect. You tap on that and you can turn on your Bluetooth feature and it will recognize as long as you have the rangefinder turned on, which is just pressing the range button, it'll get the rangefinder active and it'll recognize that this particular rangefinder is in close proximity to your smart device. And then you go through the pairing steps, um, which includes the rangefinder giving a pin number, which you can see by looking through it. You type in the pin number on the base map app, and boom, they're connected. Base map and Six Hour worked a lot together so that every time you were arranging, you weren't dropping pins all over the place if you didn't want them there. And so what you have to do is, again, that plus symbol in the bottom right corner of your screen, you hit that, and this is a pretty intentional feature. Like it's not just for when you're scanning and, and uh, you know just getting a rough idea of the terrain around you. This is when you're being really intentional and you're planning a route to a specific location. You have the time, and after that sub menu for tools slides in from the right, on the bottom right corner again, you'll see remote marker. You simply tap that and it'll say range target now. You range it and it'll come up with a compass direction, your azimuth basically, and you get to drop that pin right where the rangefinder um, shot a distance for you. And then you save it, and not only does it save the waypoint, but it also saves all the handy dandy information that the SIG Sauer rangefinders collect from your ballistic profile, from the atmospheric conditions around you, and it all goes into that waypoint. So later on, even years down the road, you can tap on that waypoint in your app, and lo and behold, those conditions will be there. And it's kind of a nice journal, you know, it's a good um, way to compare trends in where you're hunting and where the animals are found. And, and some people, um, you know, Mike Eastman for years has been, had been preaching to the choir about um, having a, a, a handwritten journal so that from year to year, you can not only log 
your hunts and the conditions and where you're finding animals and their locations, but then you start to see patterns and trends over time. Well, essentially, in the mapping apps we have now today, you get to do that and it's all electronic right at the tip of your fingers. It's extremely easy to use, even if you aren't very tech savvy. Now, when I go out in the field anymore, I always have my smart device. It's my GPS, it's my camera, it's uh, my weather app, it's everything all in one. I, I know some people that are kind of anti-technology and they say, I don't need one of those smart devices. Well, this isn't just a smart device. In fact, the, one of the least impressive things that our devices do is make phone calls and go on social media. This is a toolbox. Use this toolbox to your advantage and also to keep you safer and more efficient while you're in the field. We do it all the time here at Eastman's and it just saves us a ton of, of headache when we're out in the field and quite honestly keeps us safer and, and makes us better outdoorsmen. It, 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 it isn't something that we rely on 100% because sometimes technology does fail or your battery dies on you and you don't have a charger. So you always gotta know how to navigate and, and uh, learn how to stock on animals without that stuff. But it, man, it is such a great backup plan. In conjunction with what Sig Sauer is doing um, in this partnership with Basemap, uh, in this particular feature that the rangefinder offers, is uh, Basemap is offering for a limited time 20% off of their pro memberships. So that's something you want to check out too. You want to save a little money, now's the time to do it. One of the things that I love about the new rangefinders too from Six Hour is that they have a couple extra features besides the ones that I've already talked about. And one is an EX feature, which is an extended range feature, which again is nice to range things at extreme distances to plan your stock or to plan how to get to an animal. One of the other features is a fog feature. I don't know if you can tell, but we're in the middle of wildfire season. And in 2021, this has been a year for the records books. The, there's wildfires all over the West. We're here in Northern Wyoming. We've been, I sound kind of nasally and congested. We've been breathing in smoke for, man, two or three months already. The, the temperatures have been in the 90s and the 100s. It's been a really weird year. And when I first started messing around with this Sig Sauer, uh, the new K-Series rangefinder, I was having a hard time getting ranges. Well, then I thought I had it on the extended range mode. I turned it to the fog mode, which helps in foggy or drizzly conditions also on smoky conditions, which is pretty cool because as soon as I turned it to that mode, boom, instantly got my range, instantly had it talking to the base map app, even through the, the smoky slash foggy conditions that we're dealing with today. And it's probably not gonna change into the start of hunting season. We're gonna need cooler temperatures and also um, you know, some precipitation to come with it, which fingers crossed, we're supposed to be getting that this week. Those are the highlights of the new K-Series range finders, the Kilo K-Series range finders from Six Sour. Stay tuned, we're gonna be using more of their models again. Again, this is the 5K, they have the 6K, the 8K, and the 10K, and we're gonna be bringing you more information, more use in the field on those rangefinders too. And thanks for joining us in this review today. And remember, be safe and be prepared in the field.